Welcome back. Now, typically our Cardi's hometown hero is an athlete with tremendous accolades on the field, in the classroom, or in the community. Tonight's honorees may have some of those credentials, but they also have fun playing a sport you may not know a whole lot about. But you will soon. Mark Dondero has the story with the Ocean State Curling Club. You might not be the biggest curler or even know a lot about the game, but admit it, every four years during the Winter Olympics, you get into it a little bit. I tried it the first time five years ago to learn to curl, and ten minutes into it, I knew I wanted to play the sport. We get along great. We have a group on Thursday night, group on Friday night. Some people play both nights. People are mostly from Rhode Island. We have some people from Massachusetts and some people that commute from Connecticut each week. So people come from all over New England to participate in curling. All right, but could you explain it to me one more time? Well, it, it, curling is, uh, is, a, is a team sport play, played on ice where you, uh, you, know, you, you share in, in uh, every aspect of the game, from uh, delivering the stone to sweeping to calling the shots in the house and uh, you know, planning strategy for the game. And despite being dubbed as a quote-unquote gentleman's game, people of all ages have to be in some kind of shape to be an effective curler. It is a good workout. Somebody has uh, worn a pedometer, and during the course of a uh, game over the night, you walk approximately two miles. Well, in dedicated clubs, uh, they have five-year-old kids curling. Uh, the youngest curler that we accept is 16-year-olds, only because we have a very big constraint on our ice time, so that's about all we can accommodate. Now in curling, unlike hockey, you're not wearing skates on the ice. Instead, you have what's called a gripper that goes on the bottom of your shoe to give you better traction. Or, if you don't have a gripper, put these rubber bands around your shoe to make sure you don't fall. In the meantime, these curlers are getting excited for what they'll watch in the upcoming Winter Olympics, where the game is on its greatest stage. We will watch it together. We're going to go to our places where we go for beverages afterwards and we'll be watching it during the Olympics this year. We're excited to see how the whole event plays out. So as you can see, curling is at its core an exciting sport, but it ends there. The curling parties, do they get pretty wild? No. Mark Dondero, Eyewitness Sports. Ah, if you have someone you'd like to nominate to be our hometown hero, please send us an email at sports at WPRI.com. Boy or girl, young or old, we are always looking to profile inspirational athletes in our area.